Today, we are going to talk about automation in Microsoft Sentinel, which can be divided into two separate groups. Automation involves using playbooks or other automated processes to respond to incidents without manual intervention, helping to speed up and streamline security operations. Logic apps are tools used to create workloads. They enable you to design complex automated processes by connecting various services and actions together. Let's start with a simple task. Suppose I receive a specific incident in Sentinel that I want to automate because it's confirmed as expected activity. My goal is to auto-close that incident whenever the entities equals to no reference, indicating that Microsoft automated services are pushing updates to the app. Click on the actions and then create an automation role. The role will auto-populate with the name, analytic role name and entity name. Let's change a few things. Add automations to the name so it's easy to identify at a glance. In the actions, set it to close the role as benign positive since the activity may look suspicious, but it is expected. Then add a tag for easier auditing if needed. We can also change the severity of the incident to informational instead of medium. You can also have other options like changing the status or assigning an owner. It's worth exploring these options. You can set a rule expiration time or delete the date, causing the rule to run indefinitely. Finally, save the role. It will now trigger and auto-close the incident whenever the criteria are met, nice and easy. Next, let's set up a simple logic application that will trigger an email notification whenever an incident is created. There are two ways to achieve this. First, using playbook templates. Look for predefined playbook templates there is a good chance that whatever you need is already available as a template. Our second option is to create a logic app from scratch. To do so, click on Add Logic App and define the appropriate fields. Choose the subscription, resource group, name, region, and plan. Typically, the consumption plan is the cheaper option unless you are working for a large enterprise. In this case, I am going to use a predefined template. Set up a few parameters for the notification email, such as the recipient, company logo link, and company name. Connection may be grayed out at this stage, but you can set them up once the logic app is created. When deployed, the navigation panel will take you to the logic app designer, which provides an overview of what the app includes. From here, you can make any necessary amendments. The app will trigger when a Microsoft Sentinel incident is created. It will then pull entities from the entities, create an HTML table. It will compose an email response with details like the Sentinel incident ID, URL, company logo, and a description. Finally, it will send the email with incident details. You need to add a connection to send the email on behalf of a specific user. To finish, click on Change Connection and add a new one. Then sign in with your Office account and once that's done, the Logic App is ready to use. Keep in mind that even though the Logic App is created, it's not associated with automation in Sentinel just yet. To finish, go back to automation and create a new automation rule. Give it a name and in actions select Run Playbook. Then select the one we just created. This way, the playbook will trigger every time a new incident or alert is created in Sentinel. To test, create a custom incident. Check the activity logs to see that the automation rule has been triggered. Another way to check if the playbook ran correctly is to go to Logic Apps and check the run history. In the output details, you should see 
that the run was successful and email was sent out. Then in Outlook, you should receive an email notification about the incident created in the previous step. Congratulations! You now know the basics of creating automation in Sentinel environment. Happy hunting!